Welcome back, my comrades. I am Victor Barisov, and today we're continuing Fall on New Vegas, Mojave Wasteland, day 80, 81, I think it is. It's one or two days I've completely forgotten. And we're continuing the Ultra Lux Casino with the White with the White Glove Society. After we've done this, we have a few other places to go to on the strip. So first off, and uh, Let's see, so I'm not going to poison the wine because the wine's just going to make them all drunk. So I think we'll do this one. I think that's right. Is it here? Your source of the Philip isn't stop you. He's already dead, so he isn't. So I have 75 or higher required to revise a meal using non mercy. So six. Let's use my intelligence. And then let's go and talk to this asshole here. Hello, you. My daddy's going to kill all you bastards once he finds out what you've done to me. Calm down, I've come to get you out of here. My daddy sent you? God damn it. I almost died in here. What the hell took you so long? It's just one damn hotel. Who did this to me anyway? They hit me over the head before I got a look at him. So man the white gloves decided they were going to eat you. What in the Sam hell? Eat me? What kind of sick bastards would eat a person? I'll tell you what. As soon as I'm out of here, and my daddy knows the story, you can bet there ain't gonna be no white hat society no more. Uh, the White Cross site isn't to blame, just more man and a few of us. To hell with that. You've seen those freaks. They dress the same, talk the same. You can bet they all eat the same too. They deserve what my daddy's gonna have coming for them. I could always leave you here if you aren't going to listen. Alright, alright. But there's gonna be some justice one way or another. I'll see to that. Let's go. I'll be right behind you. Right, so we've just got to now wait until our time gets to thingy so I can... What time does the event start again? How may I? But Seven. Right, so we've got a while to wait. So what I'm going to do is just go around shutting some of these doors in because I know you can get easily... God damn you. Come on then, you. Shut this door. Just because I know you can easily get... Distracted the person, so it's best just to get them. And right, that door doesn't have a door. And I'll shut this one so he doesn't know what the hell's going on. Right, yo. Right, we got a few minutes to wait. Until I can change the time map. And then once we change the time map, we can think. Oh, we're a couple of minutes off our while we'll just wait to, I think it's 7am is it? Or is it 7pm? It'll probably be 7pm I would think. How may I? But no one is oh right, so it is 7pm, not 7am. A bit early for like, yeah that's true. That one. How may I Time to serve the meal. At once. Right, you come with me. Right, we're gonna hide in here. You arcade, follow me. Right. Save this. Warning, my covert bandaging skills are a little rusty. I think he may have the meal. Looks like oh, oh. Yeah, I see an arcade gun. I opened that far too early. Whoops. I guess we'll just have to wait until he walks out a bit more. Right, let's follow, shall we? Uh -huh. Well, where my disguise? I wonder if my disguise will work. Oh. We just need him to wander up that way. Oh, there's a beef wallet in recipe we can steal. That's good.
Why I'm so quiet, I'm just being stealthy. It's gone. I create a new save here because this is where I can all go wrong. Let's sneak out. So I've got to crouch behind here and listen to his full speech so I'll let you hear that and hear that in peace. As a society, we've endeavored to sample the finest food and drink the world has to offer. But we are living a lie. There is a meat sweeter than the most corn-fed livestock. Most of you have tasted it. All of you have coveted it. Among us, it is a crime to discuss a return to the old ways that unified our people. Tonight, that all changes. The taboo ends. Let me finish, Marjorie. You don't know it yet, but you are all now guilty of a greater crime. One that ordinarily bears the harshest of punishments. Surely that you are all guilty warrants not only universal amnesty, but also a renewed discussion. For our society to be truly elite, we must dine on the most delicious, the most exclusive food known to us. And tonight, for the first time as a society, you are sampling that very dish, the meat we are forbidden to taste, the way it was meant to be eaten. Fellow members of the White Glove Society, bon appetit. Right, this is we've got now, quickly talk to him. What the? Who is this trespasser? Loudly. Bad news, Mon. No one's eating the boy you kidnapped tonight. Are you... Why is he there? Who are we eating right now? You all heard his confession, the punishment for cannibalism is death. So be it. But we are all cannibal. Hey! Now I'm just gonna let the rest of them fucking kill him. Hey, oh, watch this. this is, is, now he's gonna get lynched to death. Is Mormon dead? Where is he? Mortimer? I don't see him anymore. Did he flee? Before anybody could kill him? Because if he's fleed before anyone could kill him, that is pretty darn bad. Orma. I might quick go out here and check if he's out here. Right, okay, I may have to reload that because apparently he fled. God damn it. I'm gonna have to save it before he gives his at the end of his speech, because he isn't supposed to flee, we have to kill him before he can flee. Alright, let's just listen. Right, I'm gonna skip this and edit him for you guys. Alright, we're back guys, and we're gonna kill this Mormon this time. Make sure he doesn't flee. What? What the hell's the... Yes, we're gone this time. There we go. There we go. We're gone this time. Four hot talks. We kill them. Now I just need to go and speak to her about it so I can get idolized. Where is she? Yes, she is. She sits here. Right, let's talk to her. Hello, lady. Oh, oh my. How unfortunate. And in front of all these people, too. 
He always was a bit of a pill, Mortimer. He was so pouty when I decided to ban eating people. And now this. I should have paid more attention to the warning signs. Can you imagine what people would have said? Why, it would have been a complete scandal if it weren't for you. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm idolized by the White Glove Society. So look at that guy, that's how you want it, you want to be idolised by these different gangs, then you can control them, and manipulate them. No man, I'm gonna probably lose some fame in a minute probably. What the hell's that, tuxedo? Hey look at that, I'm a general wearing a tuxedo, I've got a meat cleaver on me. Sounds about right in this place. Yeah, because the next one we can do is either the hotel or the signs. We're probably going to do the sign one next because that one's easier. Right, hopefully I don't lose too much thing. A name like that could have only brought bad oh my god. Ted, are you alright? Quit your hollering. I'm fine. You got me my boy back. Now I hope you didn't do no harm to whoever's responsible. Uh, like, I don't know who took him, I just found him. It was more my wife, the white gloves, who had him chain his cannibal. Well, that does it. None of them maniacs will ever do business with Hank Gunderson long as they live. Hell, I'll put me together a damn blockade. Hit them where it hurts. They control the food? Well, there ain't gonna be no food. Not for anybody in this whole damn town. It's a goddamn monument to inhumanity. Let them starve. Biggest favor anyone's ever done this hellhole. Speed Street 5, that's just what they want. You'd be driving the city to eat each other. I don't like this place. Whole strip, really. Ever since I got here, the stink of it has flooded my nostrils. But you got a point. They're already hell-bent on depravity here. All I'd be doing is helping them along. All right. Well, I promised you I'd make it worth your while. So here you are. Try not to lose it all at the same casino. I'll not. Accept it. What's up, bartender? Can I speak to you? Welcome to Top Shelf. Let's see what, oh god. I just need stuff for my increase my Christmas strength, I'll take more of them. Charisma, charisma. Charisma plus strength. Charisma plus strength. So that is all of the strength. Give me a yeah, let's see. Do I have any outfits? What's going to increase anything? Oh, perception plus one. Yes, that's good. Uh, oh, perception plus two. So I'm already up on the perception game. Uh, Some white gloves sign masks. There we go. I now look like a very business type person. Now I'm gonna get all my weapons back. Great. Yeah, because I think one of the missions, the casino one, because I've kind of annoyed the Van Graffs quite a lot. I think this mission's gonna be quite hard, the one I've got to do there. So we'll come back to that one once I go and get some stealth boys, because that one's gonna be very hard to do. Other than that, I think we're doing Michelangelo's shop, because that's just a simple, easy runabout one. Uh, who's this? Is this the same person? Oh, just a traveller. Right, Michelangelo's workshop. Let's have a look around here, shall we? So, can we... You know, there's something to steal here, but we can just look around. See what there is. So, as you can see, this is just like a giant sign shop. Michelangelo's up there, so we'll go and speak to him and see what he needs done. Where's the switch here? What does this do? I don't know. Well, I switched on these lights. Guess that's helpful. Michelangelo. Oh, who are you? Excuse me, but I'm busy. You're his assistant. Hi. What can I do for you? Oh, you're another woman. What's this place? You saw our front sign, didn't you? This is where all the beautiful signs of the strip become a reality. It all comes from Michelangelo's imagination. We do a little work here and there too, sure, but he's the real artist. Who is Michelangelo? 
He's the reason the strip shines like a star at night. Mike's imagined and built every sign, billboard, and light you'll see around here. I can't find Michelangelo. Check out the back of the shop. He's usually working there. Tell me you care about Michelangelo. He's the oh, all right. How long have you been working here? I've been here over a year now. Though I'm not one to get tired for long. I plan to roam the wasteland once I'm ready. The people need light and kindness. There's too much fear and pain out there already. Goodbye. Right, let's go and speak to Michelangelo. So let's say he's got a load of signs up here. Is there any plants we can loot or steal? Or appropriate from this place? Nope, just light bulbs. Right, anything back here? No switch here. Can't flick that one up. Right. That's Michelangelo, obviously. So let's see what he's got. Uh, uh. Schematics billboard. Okay, we may come back for them. Don't know why we would need them, but yes. This is his bedroom. Oh, hello. I am Michelangelo. How can I? Uh, wait. Are you here to deliver more billboard requests? Please tell me you're not a messenger on behalf of Mr. House. Speech lie, of course. On um, behalf. No, I'm not. I'm not here for anything like that. Who are you? Mm, that's great to hear. Really great. I'm Sheldon from Vault 21. Although here I go by my artistic name, Michelangelo. So what brings you here? An artist raffing to see. What's your story? Well, I... Uh, not much, really. Vault 21 was my home. My dear home. I left it to explore the outside world. At first it was a marvel to behold. My inspiration flowed true and its works caught Mr. House's attention. And that's how I ended up in this place. Sounds as if you didn't like this place. What's wrong with it? I feel haunted by something terrible. Working in such a huge workshop often makes me shiver. I can't even leave the strip. So if this be off the outside world draining your inspiration? Yes, I think so. But please, uh, keep quiet about it. Without inspiration, I'm as good as a tumbleweed drifting in the barren wasteland. Medicine, 55. Your exhibiting clear symptoms of acute arachnophobia. I can help. Ah, an educated fellow. Now that is almost as rare as artistry. So, how can you help me regain my inspiration? Several years of psychology and a few thousand caps a month. I know this guy in Freeside really good at... Uh, so be amazing. I could escort you into the wasteland, it's not so bad. Thank you for the offer, but I think I really can't go to see... Wait a minute. I know, I don't have to necessarily be there to see it. You're not making this easy. Screw it. I know the capsule dropped dead, huh? This one way, me. Yes, yes, that's it. I have a camera. It is old, but it should work. Perhaps you could bring me images of inspiring landmarks. Photography is a risky business. It's going to cost you a lot, you know. I'll help you. Do you have any landmarks? I've always wanted to see the dinosaur and its thermometer sign at Novak. Then there's the famous Bison Steve sign. The McCarran Airfield and the Helios One Power Station signs are of much interest to my work. Like the Sunset Sarsaparilla Headquarters bottle. Uh, okay. Uh, you have great self to I'll return with the pictures. Thank you. Oh, and if you need more camera film, then just come back and I'll get it for you. Again, thank you. Right, so this is the one we've got to do. So, camera, well, how's the camera? Should have a camera somewhere. Hold on. There it is. Wait for camera film. Oh, let's just go and photograph all these for them, shall we? Oh, yeah, I forgot. This isn't Fallout 76, but we can teleport from interior locations. Oh, 
Right, now let's go. Sunset Sarsaparilla, the dinosaur, and the other one. Okay, we're going to have to stand quite a bit back for this. Yeah, let's head all the way back here and let's hope no one shoots us. Okay, if anyone shoots us, you have free range to, like, terminate them. Alright, got that one. Camp McCarran sign. So this one is literally just a quick, easy, you know, just fetch quest. Just run, photograph, run, photograph. Alright, there is one thing I want to do while I'm here. Oh yeah, I don't have any more weapons equipped, do I? Hold on. I know this is a bit pointless when going in and out of casinos like, but... I need weapons just in case I do get attacked. Uh, just had to do a chem addict, you know. Where's that machine gone? That was it. Uh, no hollow point. I've right, already 16 rounds of this left, so we're gonna have to careful of this one. So I'll switch on to this one. Alright, what's the next one we're going to trim? The Bison Steve Hotel, then we can go up to these ones. Bison Steve should be. Perfectly safe as long as there's no powder gangs in the town anymore. I don't believe there is. No, too far away is it? Oh no. Was it that one? Okay, it was that one on the roof. Right, sunset so sarsaparilla there. I can go and get my thing. Right, you. So the dino. I wish the game. Oh god, I forgot there was a giant drop there. Let's take a sideways picture, shall we? Oh well, you should be able to look at that. Alright, let's go and grab a bit of equipment from in here, then we can go to the last place and we've just got to run through all the gates to get to Michelangelo's shop, then once we've done Michelangelo's shop we can do Vault 22 quest. Alright, let's dump off some gear in here, shall we? What do I not need? I'll keep... Put them away. Put that away, I need that. i going to pull away these temporarily. Fragmine. Lame, I'll put just a ball cap my maze with put away. Silence, I'll keep that. Put away my katana for now. Uh, put some of this stuff away so I'm not so much weighed down. i keep that on me. Right, now let's get some of the stuff out we need. Stealth boys, that's one of the ones we need. Might take two just in case. Uh, anything what gives me probably first marin reception boost. Reception plus two, I'll take them. Uh, first map plus two, strength plus two, no, that's fine. Uh, 
I'm already diction room for Endurance plus three. I'll take some of them with me. I'll take a couple of beers. Right, there we go. Got everything we need for the next quest. It's always good having a little safe house here, so I don't always have to go to Big Mountain. Helios. I'm not going to shoot you, it's just a camera. Right. Back to the strip we go. Oh, that person's dead, dead. And up. Right, so what time is it? It's currently sitting at 27, so we've got about a few more minutes, what's not bad. So, let's go through here. Oh, sorry, okay, didn't mean to click on you. So yes, Vault 21 is where we're going after the, after Michelangelo's workshop. To talk to, talk to him. Um, what do you call her? Yeah, um, what do you call her? Sarah, that's her name. I think, I don't think that my brain went dead. Sarah, yes. So, yes, we'll get that done. And then go for this door. Michelangelo, I've got your pictures for you wherever you are. You're up there, aren't you? If you're up there, we're going to steal them schematics quickly while no one's down here. Thank you. Don't know what I'm going to do with them like, but I've got schematics. Ahead of me. Right, let's go through here. Aha! The brave photographer returns. Good to see you. I have fresh photos for you. Oh, that's wonderful. Just what I need. Thank you, brave one. Here's some compensation for your work. I took all the pictures you wanted. There was some think about what you have earned it, my friend. Now I can finally unveil my masterpieces to the world, all thanks to you. Come visit me again sometime. Will do. Aha. Okay, I can't control about his life and the rest. Okay, yeah, sure thing. Okay, we've done his, so now we're gonna go do Hello. talk to Sarah, then we're gonna do the uh, bye bye love. Right. This one's just gonna involve me running around a lot to different places. This is one of the longer ones, what's a bit of an annoying one, but oh well. Right, Sarah, I want to talk to you. Hi, I'm Sarah, Sarah Weintraub. Welcome to the finest bald hotel in the whole... Actually, hold on. Goodbye. Santa might take some stuff just to give me some boosts. Uh, Prisma plus two. Uh, and tats. There you Good go. To see you again. I'm, lo I'm looking for Carly Carlitos. Do you know him? Carlitos, huh? Yeah, I do. Try the diner. But don't start to trouble you here. Wasn't planning to. Good to see you again. Uh, I would like a room. What kind of things do you sell in the gift shop? All sorts of things. Vault souvenirs, vault wares, vault machines, vault mementos, and vault suits. And, well, lots of other vault things, too. Vault gear? So, can you show me what you've got? Oh, yeah, sure. Okay, I got these great lunch boxes. They're super. What else? Oh, oh, look at these toasters. You like toast, right? If they're crunchy, even better. What about a vintage vault tech toy car? Or... Stop right there. Do you actually have any vault gear? Okay, I do, but who wants a lame sensor module or a nitrogen canister anyway? All the popular stuff has been sold, especially the vault suits. I need to find more because people buy them like hotcakes. Leather suits are good times. Thinking about that just blows my top. I'll help you out. You would? You really would? That would help me a lot. Them that you can't fix boomer suits, they'd be very similar to vault suits. Hey, who says I can't fix that? You bring me those boom suits too, okay? 
Mother, okay, you got it. You're an angel. I can't wait to see you again. Uh, talk to you. See you again. Um, I would like to see you again. No, are you the owner of this hotel shop? Well, it is my vault, all right. I mean, yeah, that is no. I take care of it, but I suppose you could say that it belongs to Mr. House. What does Mr. House have to do with a vault? Mr. House has everything to do with Vault 21. He tried to get us out before he filled it with concrete. I almost went ape. So we convinced him. Okay, Sheldon and I, right? We convinced him to leave the top level mostly intact. Why did he fill it with concrete? I don't know. Maybe he didn't want anybody sneaking around down there. My vault runs deep and wide. It's filled with corridors and rooms that go far. What gives him the right to screw us with the royal shaft anyway? So he saved New Vegas. Woohoo! Now scram and let us go on with our lives. Sheesh. Uh, well, I would like to know other things about you in this hotel. I see. You run this place then? Yeah, and you gotta dig what I did with it. Looking as good as it should? Almost. Uh, do you get a lot of business here? Sure. The place is packed. Usually. We get loads of NCR cubes these days. A stray Brahmin Baron once in a while, and recently circled couples shining big rocks on their fingers. Uh, do you know Doc Mitchell? Mitch? You mean Molebutt? I hadn't thought about that name in a long time. I was just a child, and he had a big mole in his rear bumper. You understand, kids and all that. Everyone knows about each other in a vault. There's no other way. I hope Mole... I mean, Mitch... Is doing well. Yes, do you miss the old days? It was bustling with activity. We all knew each other so well. You see, the vault kept us all even. It's all symmetry and windows down there. We solved any quarrels through gambling. Lady Luck cast no eyeballs, you know? So, nobody shafted anyone else. Yeah, I miss those days. I had some more questions for you. Uh. Alright. I don't want to know about that. That's uh, Vault, Ho Vault Hotel. What was I before the war? No, silly. Of course, it wasn't always a hotel. I grew up in it. I love it. My favorite place in the world. Not that I know much of the world. I never left this place. Come to think of it, but it is the most special vault ever. You have never actually left this place. Sure, I have. I made the scene in the strip. It's just that I really like it here. Vault 21 is a kick. Definitely, it's out there. It's sunk else behind all this, right? Okay, you're right. I hate going outside. It's almost impossible for me to step out of here. Still, I love my vault. It's my pad. Huh, I have some more questions for you. What's so special about this vault? My vault is pure New Vegas. Everyone has a chance, and Lady Luck smiles if you play your odds right. Okay, it was like that before we had to leave. Vault 21 had very smart ways to help people get along. All arguments and fights got solved through gambling. I'll give you a quick tour of my home. Oh yeah, if you like. Do I would like that? I should have something else to ask you first. Uh, something else. Uh, what did you say about not being the owner of the hotel shop? I take care of it. Okay. I would like to ask you this question. Um, Said, Vault 21 wasn't always a hotel. No, silly. Of course, it wasn't always a hotel. Mr. House. All right, so that's all the things, right, yo? Thousand also likes indoors a lot. Are you arachnophobia too? Okay, you're right. I hate going. What's so special? Alright, so I like that. Radio, Daddy -o. Let's do it. Alright, there we go. Right, Asked her all the questions, now we're gonna have a tour. Right away. Before we go and speak to this Carlitos person, is it? So it's looking if I took them. Drugs. Bunker protects the entrance to the vault. Solid stone outside and thick steel on the inside. Good to know. Hmm. 
Right, through here. level of the vault's life support systems, electric grid, radioactive shields, and all that jazz. Don't get lost. My vault has many corridors and rooms, although it is no longer symmetrical after Mr. House threw us out. Hey. This is the main game hall. Here we settled the big disputes among the vault's levels. Chosen representatives gambled against each other here. The winner earned the right to settle the dispute if it was wished by the collector. We used to have such parties in this diner. A bitch to clean later, but well worth it. Snooping next door. That's my room. Always was. No thing. Down there is the game room. Each side of the vault had one, but the other is filled with concrete now. Okay, that wraps it up. I'll see you soon. No thing. So that's the room I can rent, and this is the room we're gonna have to break into, just the fact we need to get bullhead from here. Come on. Now this place isn't much to explore, just a load of empty rooms, so we're not gonna really look around this and say just game rooms and empty rooms. So we're going to go straight to him and talk to him before time gets too late. And then we'll end it. Hey. Here you are. Talk to you. Hey, do you mind? I'm trying to drink myself to the ground right here. Scram. I'm here on behalf of Jolene. What did you say? I mean, Joanna sent you. Yes, Joanna. Please tell me. Is she all right? When did you see her? What does she have to say? First, that's, uh, she didn't know if you were still alive. She has to know. I'm ready to help her escape once and for all. Am I even scared of Kachino and all those fuckers? Joanna and I are dead anyway if we don't get the hell out of here. Well, why don't you get her out of Goa? You think I can just waltz in there and take her away? She's there, doll, now, okay? Besides, I step in Gamora and I'm as good as dead, you hear? You don't just leave the Emeritus unless it's in a body bag. I'll try. Not for free. First, let me ask you some questions. Okay, I'll help you out. Tell me about your past. You know, straightening up bets, Gamora, success, women, all that shiny stuff. Okay. Intelligence 7. You worked in Gamora as a cook run. Uh, what was it like? Hey, you're smart. Okay, it was like finding diamonds in your vodka and showgirls under your card table. You want it, Gamora has it. It was heaven, until you find that all the glitter is made of broken dreams and all the praise hides a knife pointing at your ribs. Any important wise guys I should know about? Now, if you have to ask, you probably don't know shit about who you're dealing with, huh? Listen up. Watch out for Kachino. That's all I'm saying. What did you say about when? It was heaven. Oh, let's ask talk about your ears. Sorry about the strip. If you're smart, the strip's all flash and noise. If not... Lux your dame, your hot date until you find she's a cheap whore high on jet. What are the important players in town? <laughs> There's only one important player in town, and that's Mr. House. Everyone keeps clean around him. The families, the barons, fuck, even the NCR. Any recommendations on where to get some fun? My recommendation? Get the fuck out of town while you can. It'll leave you hanging in the wind, or worse. 
Add your body to a concrete wall, okay? Okay, ask me more questions. So you live in Vault 21? This place has come a long way. Sarah takes care of it, and she lets me stay for now. What does Sarah do around here? What doesn't she do, huh? Sarah makes this hole look like a palace. Damn nice pair of gams on her, too. She never walks outside, though. What? Why do you stay in Vault 21? That's come a long way. Because Mr. House ripped this place to shreds before filling it with concrete. Hey. I was untouchable once, but Mr. House is a god. You got that? Sure thing. Goodbye. Alright, let's go and talk to her then, shall we? So, then we need to drop off this bobblehead as well, so we'll go and do that, shall we? So, I think we'll have all the bobbleheads once I drop this one off. And that's going to make me a lot of money. That's what this game's all about, money. Basically. So once we spoke to her, I'll see what the time is. If we've got enough time, we'll continue sneakily doing this quest. Because, like I said, the free side part's going to be the tricky part. So I should resave it just in case anything goes wrong. Like, right there. Uh, well... I would say I would love to own that hotel, it looks a lot nicer than all the others. Gamora's good for the girls, that one's good for entertainment, that one's good if you're posh. I probably would go for the girls one. Lucky 38 though, yeah, that's the yeah, private penthouse basically. Alright, let's head in. Hello, Victor. Let's head in. Where are we going? Top floor. Where to, partner? Uh. President Penthouse, please. I need to sell this. Well, hello. I think that should be all the snow globes now. Okay, take me to the presidential suite, please. I want to check to make sure I've got all the snow globes. Yes, we have. That's all of them. Perfect. Hi, roller suite. Uh, casino floor, please. Casino floor. Leap. Go on, follow me then. Let's go. Let's get out of this casino. Right, let's go and deal with this one then, shall we? Right. I swear we're going to get all our weapons taken off us again. Alright, this place has got a load of fun casino quests, we've definitely got to come back here and do the quests after this, like, it means we've got to find like the people like Kachino, I think it is, there is it, you're a ghoul, Morphog, that's the beer wearing off, Mentat's wearing off, oh well. Right. Uh, where are you, Jolina? Hey there, gorgeous. Um, I just want to ask you some questions. I want to talk to you about Kalitos. What? Oh, yeah, I want to talk to you about something else. Ask some questions. Buy your problem. Let's go to your room. Follow me, hun. Sure thing. So I want to talk to you about Kalitos. Well, getting shot. Okay, get out of our way, please. Hey. I would hate to work. Uh, walk, should I say? Uh, yeah, walk barefoot on this concrete because this looks like it would be painful as hell. Especially these wood. These are like supposed to be wood, but wood be alright, but for the metal, ouch. At least wear some shoes or some flat footed shoes. Right. Let's head in. Hey, what's up? I want to talk to you about Claudius. Yes, Chris wants to get you out of here. He does? Wait, this changes everything. I can't leave my girls here. And where would we go even if we escape? No. Trust me, I'll keep you safe. You sound so sure. Damn it all. 
You better not make me regret this later. But the Omertas will want us dead. What are we going to do about that? That's right, you're not saying again. You're off my word. To be free, and with Carlitos again. Tell him that I still... I... Never mind. Let Carlitos know that we'll be ready when you are. Don't worry, I'll tell him that you are happy to hear from him. Goodbye. Now we just gotta run all the way back to him, then we've gotta go all the way to Blum Freeside. Freeside's gonna be the most annoying quest there is though. So I've gotta be super careful how I do Freeside or else I could end up failing multiple quests. Quite literally. And that's not a good one. I'll be back here to talk to you about all your quests. Yeah, so I think we'll make a time just to get the pre-side section done, possibly. I'm not sure. Right, you. Yeah. I didn't hear that, shall we? Oh, no. Nope. Yeah, I just hear all these load doors. This is why this one quest annoys me so much, because there's so many load doors. It is unnecessary for this one quest. But hey ho, we'll get it done. Ah, right, here we go. Let's go, Kalitos. I want to talk about Joanna. Let's go on. Joanna's hired to hear from you and wants to escape. She is? Listen, no time to waste. Help her get to Freeside. That's our ticket out of this fucking city. I'll meet you there between midnight and dawn. But we could use some backup. We only got one chance to get this right, you hear? These guys in Freeside, good shots, right? They owe me big time. Tell them that Carlitos is back to collect his chips. They'll know what to do. Okay, uh, where in Freeside will you meet us? I'll be near the entrance, but I need to keep out of sight. The Emeritus have contacts and they're still looking for me. Uh, how do I get uh, She'll have to go disguised. Gamora's packed around midnight, and the bouncers won't notice just another patron leaving the joint. Okay, okay. My help has a price, right? That's. Right, yo. Nah, I'm not going to charge them. It's love, the mind's real thing. Optional crisis just going back up before attempting the escape, find two guns. Yes, just in case everything goes south. You know. This is where the hard bit comes in. So I am going to end this. I think I'm going to end it after I've done this then. The next one, because the next bit is a long walking game where you've got to walk with them in the rest. It's kind of annoying, you know. But... We'll do that in a bit. Well, it's this bit, it's just easily run and get some. I had folks to help, you know what I mean. Right, I need you to wait here for me. Because okay. you can muck up my entire plan here. Quite literally. Yeah, and also I need a gun, just in case this does go, in case I get attacked, because this place is full of lunatics. Uh, I might just keep crouching, like right around here, cause I... that's what I'm on about, lunatics. Okay, Ganon, just stay there, please, and just don't like kill anyone else. So I need to sneak, quite literally sneak. Oh, 
That's the crier. I don't mind the crier being dead. It's one last crier on the streets. The old person I need to keep alive. Right, stealth boy time it is. He should not be able to see me because I've got stealth quite high up. So if he dies, the quest fails for Cassidy Rose. I do not want that quest failing since he's hostile as hell. Not good having a hostile person there. Well, how's this hired help? Let me guess. You want to know my secret? How I got? Uh, does the name Colossus ring a bell? Depends on why you're asking. Says he's ready to cash in his chips. I see. Well, he can count on Little Beard and me for an assist. Tell us where and when, and we'll be there. The where is Freeside, and now would be a good time. Right. Now, time to get out of here without him seeing too much. I'd rather still be alive, you know what I mean. And literally that took like three minutes just to do this one quest without mucking it up. Sure we've done this one before doing the Van Graffs one, but you know me. Right, you also go and get arcade. And then we'll just head back into Gamora ready for later for the next day. Because I don't really want to push this over an hour, this video, because, like I said, the other one's quite long. Follow me. Let's go. At least you shot some people for me anyway. Just, yeah, there's so many boys. I'm, oh, yeah, you can see me because I'm walking. And your robots. Right, so let's just get in here. What time is it anyway? Oh, it's nearly midnight anyway. That comes in handy for the next video. Pardon me. No one but a and what over all ones keep all ones. Okay, there you go. Right, I'm just gonna run near the back because it's now 55, so I can guarantee we're gonna be shot. Possibly get shot at it in the next video. After this one, we'll come back to go more and do the quest here. Right, so guys, if you like this quest, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like, give it a thumbs down. If you have any questions at all about this video or any other videos, put them in the comments below. I'll try to answer the best way I can, guys. But until next time, I am Victor Barisoff. Sign off until next time, guys. Bye.